A Chinese nerd just destroyed the entire multi-billion dollar Western AI biosphere. Computer scientists, investors, government overseers, the military, entire buildings full of highly paid staff. That whole ecosystem is suddenly looking very shaky indeed, to say the least. And the timing. The US and its subsidiary Japan just announced a half a trillion dollar cash injection. Just as they did that, Chinese nerds at a lab called DeepSeek showed that making good AI isn't about excessive amounts of money. It's not even about having the most advanced chips. The key is human ingenuity. Perhaps most extraordinary of all is the David and Goliath aspect of the battle. The biggest, richest and most famous companies in the world, including Google and Microsoft and Meta, have been putting tens of billions of dollars into their AI operations. But they seem to have been beaten by an unknown Chinese lab started as a side project by a guy whose day job was in investment computing. And this story is moving fast. It was a little over a week ago that reports of a new program called DeepSeek Version 3 moved from the tech world to mainstream news. And then on Monday last week, a revised model was launched. DeepSeek R1 is beating the Western competition on multiple parameters. The Chinese team made it transparent and open source. That means it doesn't just claim to be better. It can be tested. Look, here we are trying it out for ourselves. And the results are amazing. The Chinese program beats the Western ones at Chinese responses, no surprise there, and math too. But the figures show it also beats the Western ones on English parameters. And it doesn't just do words. When a Western researcher asked it to answer a complex scientific question with a visual illustration, it produced this. Pretty mind-blowing to say the least. There are eight things you need to know about this story. Number one, the developers are shrinking it down. The technical phrase is distilling it so that you can download it to your laptop or even have it on your phone. Number two, by making it portable, it will be able to fit into the head of a robot, like this one, which went for a stroll around Shenzhen recently. This means that you can now make a robot that moves around like a human and will also be able to have a thoughtful, intelligent conversation, just like you can with humans. Well, with some humans, I guess, not all. <coughs> Number three, the secrets of how they did this have been made available in technical papers. First on the list of writers is Deep Seek the Computer itself. And yes, they've done it in English. Imagine going to a Western company and ask them to write all their papers in complex technical Chinese. Yeah, and they might struggle with that, right? Number four, the Deep Seek team has made their findings a gift, really to the US, which is where most AI research is done. And they've done this just after the US has spent three years playing dirty on the same topic bullying other countries to stop selling AI chips and chip making equipment to China. Number five, as mentioned earlier, the timing of DeepSeek's news has been disastrous for the US, which just announced it would spend $500 billion more on AI. There are fears that the super high stock market valuations of AI companies may be hit hard by the emergence of DeepSeek. Number six, the West considers the Chinese company to be dangerous because it is so generous and open. Seriously, let's look at what the Financial Times had to say on this topic. Industry insiders say DeepSeek's singular focus on research makes it a dangerous competitor because it is willing to share its breakthroughs rather than protect them for commercial gains. Do you get that? The company is dangerous, quote, because it's willing to share its breakthroughs rather than protect them for commercial gains, unquote. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I know, right? The surprise that a company can make a breakthrough and share it with the world for nothing was summed up in a comment by Mark Andreessen, the legendary tech guy who invented the browser. DeepSeek R1 is one of the most amazing and impressive breakthroughs I've ever seen. And as open source, a profound gift to the world. Yeah, think about that. At the exact same time that America is bullying the world to stop selling chips to China, China is making a tech breakthrough and giving it to the world, primarily the USA. What a difference in attitude. Number seven, another important difference. The Western AI companies are staffed by extremely highly paid specialists gathered from around the world, including many people of Chinese heritage. Yes, we noticed that. In contrast, DeepSeek is a smallish local firm staffed by graduates from Beijing, Tsinghua and Beihang universities. The first thing that the big Western AI companies did was call for outside investors 
and look for ways to monetize their projects to create big profits. But DeepSeek has done neither of these things. Uh, it says it's simply researching for the sake of it and sharing its findings for the good of mankind. This has reminded many people, East and West, of the early days of the internet, where people were discovering cool things purely for the thrill of it. Changes will have to be made in the West. On one bulletin board used by Western AI people, a tech executive made a panicked post. Engineers are moving frantically to dissect deep seek and copy anything and everything we can from it. I'm not even exaggerating, he wrote. Every single leader of Gen AI Org is making more than what it costs to train DeepSeek V3 entirely. And we have dozens of such leaders. As I said at the start, the emergence of DeepSeek is going to cause ructions in Western AI firms. Stocks will be sold, valuations will fall, and some jobs will be lost. Meanwhile, DeepSeek founder Liang Wenfeng still has his day job. But somehow, I don't think he has to worry. Peace. Peace.